always felt that someone else was in the mirror. Another voice simply wanted to be heard in this world. In this world. Let's take a chance and run together through this. tell me I had a twin sister. Or that I'm a werewolf? Wolf shifter. Uh, what? Werewolves aren't a real thing. Shifters choose when to run our wolves. We're not controlled by the moon. There are other kinds of shifters too. Lions, bears, even birds. Is that my father? Jonathan Lebron. Your real last name is not Jackson. It is Lebron. I gotta tell you, Mom, a fake idea is not making my top ten questions right now. I'm Leander. Yeah, I know who you are. I know you walked out on me and Dad. And now that you're in trouble, you come back. It is more complicated than that. I hope your adventure in the human world is worth it. As far as I'm concerned, you can stay there. You can be mad at me all you want, but your mother doesn't deserve it. This is what I saw in those dreams. It is all real, mi amor. Dragons, sorcerers, wolves. We'll explain everything, but we should get back to the house. It's not safe this close to the boundary. So, they're just gonna live here now? After she abandoned us? That's not fair. You don't know anything about us. Well, whose fault is that? It's certainly not Misha's. Try having some sympathy for how hard this is for her. You don't have to defend me. I can take care of myself. Nice family reunion. We are a family. We'll enroll Misha at the Supernatural Academy tomorrow, and I expect you to look out for her. <sighs> oh, I can't believe I have to wear this. Stop tugging. I get those tailored, you know. Yeah, thanks for the loan. For the 20th time. Oh, whoa. What? Wow. Oh, whoa. Oh. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Could you even try to be cool? Not really. Still wrapping my head around a school full of vampires and werewolf shifters. That's not a headband, is it? Bunny shifter. It's a fashion choice. I can do it too. Ah! Don't do that! Actually, that was kind of cute. When you're ready, I'll teach you how. Jessa, what did you do? Duplication spell gone wrong? Do you know how illegal that is? I like the hair, though. You should try it for real. Hi, I'm Jay. I use they and them. Misha, she and her. She's my twin sister. Apparently, when my mom ran out of my dad, they split the assets. Misha, this is Max, Brax, Tara, and you've already met Jay. Vampire, shifter, magic user, fairy. Hey. Hi. So, do you go here now? Starting today. Wow, this is a lot. I know, right? And my dad's like, show her around, help her fit in, like it's no big deal. Oh, so unfair. Is that your uniform too? Thank you for noticing. Sorry to interrupt the fun. I need to take Misha to the headmaster's office to enroll her. Why can't mom take me? It's better if I handle it. Dad's pack alpha and Stratford council leader. People don't say no to him. I know this is a big adjustment. Please give it a chance, Misha. Oh, this pack just got so much cooler. I know, right? Two Jessas! Oh, I haven't been able to get online all day. Do I need a password? Oh, uh, we don't have that here. Wait, what? No Wi-Fi? No 5G? The cloaking spell that keeps the town hidden interferes with wireless signal. Wait here while I talk to the headmaster. How do you text your friends? Well, you can see your friends in person. My friends don't live here. Right. I'm sorry. <sighs> You've never mentioned a second daughter. She's been living with her mother outside the boundary. And how is Leander adjusting to Stratford after all these years? It must be quite difficult for you. We're both focused on the girls. Of course. Misha hasn't come into her powers yet. I'll be paying her tithe. No powers? At 16? Probably a side effect of living among the humans. 
Our upper school students are generally expected to tie their own tuition fees. But I suppose we can make an exception. Thank you. Wild haircut. Me? You definitely needed a makeover, but this is a miss. Elda, I see you've met our new student. Uh, new? My daughter, Misha. Ah, I'm Headmaster Kristoff. Your father has explained your situation. And we're happy to accept you on probation until your powers come in. My daughter, Elda, can help you get acclimated. Be a goodwill ambassador, dear. Yes, father. Come on. I'll show you around. Thanks, but I'm good. How'd it go? Okay, I guess. I met the headmaster's daughter. We hate her, right? Right? The worst. Where's the register? The what? Oh, you don't need money here. Your tuition covers it. Our table's under the window. See you over there. Hey, newbie. Lesser Jessa. Yeah, you. It's grab and go, not stop and stare. Oh, sorry. Can I reach something for you? I don't need your help. Keep it holstered unless you want to start something. Stop gawking. I just offered to help. Does she look like she needs your help? Whoa. Is she a... Is that a... <laughs> wow. You didn't get any food? No, she just pissed off a mermaid on her first day. Nice. Any bones broken? No. Also, I just met a mermaid, so there's that. Don't take it personally. They tend to be pretty grouchy on dry land. You can share mine. What do you like? Pizza? Ribs? I got two pot pies, if you don't mind liver. Can I just get a protein bar? Maybe an apple? Hey, are those energy shots? I love those. What flavor did you get? Uh, you don't want those. It's hemoglobin. Max needs his daily dose or he gets, uh, well, hangry doesn't quite cover it. All vampires do. So you really drink, um... <laughs> Not without permission. These have all the nutrients I need. Is it rude to ask how you're out in the daytime? Is it a special spell? <laughs> <laughs> Humans get everything wrong. Dramatic license, I guess. I don't have to worry about daylight. I do hate garlic, though. <laughs> I'll remember that. You can have these if you want. You sure? Thanks. Mmm, this is delicious. Is this special fairy food? Nope. It's an Nanaimo bar. I'm from Canada. Oh. This place must seem pretty weird to you. I mean, after growing up outside the boundary. Sort of. I mean, I've been to a lot of schools. I never pissed off a mermaid before. But every school has an Elda. There's always someone who feels better about themselves by telling you how ugly your hair is. I like your hair. This one should be easy for you. The homework's great. Human movies, human TV shows. Have you seen Friends? You get streaming here? I thought magic screwed up the Wi-Fi. It's cable, hardwired in from the nearest town. This place is totally trapped in the last century. If you don't mind, Ms. LeBron, and Ms. LeBron? Sorry, Mr. McQuarrie. This is my sister, Misha. She just moved here from New York. Whoa, from New York! Oh, we did a unit on New York last semester. Hi, uh, 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 uh. Dante, go ahead. Yeah, so I, I was wondering when they discontinued the Times Square sing-alongs. I'm sorry, the what? When the sailors on leave used to visit New York, they'd join in these big musical numbers. You know, uh, uh, <laughs> Huh? But the more recent movies don't have any of that. So why and when did they lay off the street choruses? They moved to Hollywood. The same as the baseball team. And then Brooklyn replaced the Dodgers with the hipsters. <laughs> Where are you getting this stuff? Hand, please. 
Do you know anything about the human world that isn't from movies and sitcoms? I read human publications. From when? 1955? Human accomplishments come and go quickly. Few are worthy of attention. We study the classics. Mozart, Shakespeare, Fred Astaire. The invention of flight. The splitting of the atom. The human version of magic. But that's like a hundred years ago. When's the last time you even visited a human city? <gasps> What? I have not had the pleasure. Then why are you teaching this class? You are excused. Mr. McQuarrie, she's new here. She doesn't know. Misha, apologize. For what? For being right? For being rude. Trolls can't visit the human world. Look around you. Not everyone can pass for human like you. That's enough disruption. You're both excused. Are you ever going to stop being an embarrassment? We're lucky we didn't get sent for demerits. I'm sorry I was rude. I didn't realize. But he was wrong about everything. He doesn't know anything about the human world. Who cares? Let him be wrong. It's not your job to fix it. That's your room. Dad made special arrangements to put you next door so I could look after you. Well, I'm sorry to be so much trouble. I didn't ask to come here. And you don't have to make it so obvious you think I'm a loser. And you could at least try to fit in. Fit in? You mean be just like you? Because you're so perfect? I never said that! You didn't have to! Oh, oh come on! Oh. Jessa, I'm fine. She doesn't have to babysit me. Jessa didn't send us. We just wanted to make sure you were okay. We noticed that you weren't at lunch. <laughs> okay, Max noticed. I'm not used to all these people, and the one person I want to talk to is really far away. I like to be alone. Supernaturals aren't wired to be alone. Especially not wolf shifters. The besties have been a pack since we met in seventh grade. And now, you're in it too. Even if I'm fighting with Jessa? Brax gets on my last nerve all the time. He's still my brother. Pack is like that. <laughs> I never had any kind of pack. It was always just me and my mom. What's your mom like? Jessa's always wondered about her. She's the one thing I could always count on. Jessa's life here seems so perfect. Nice house, beautiful school, bunch of friends. But now I feel sad for her. She didn't have her mom. It's okay. Uh... Is this what I think it is? Just brought it back from Moscow this week. Oh, I haven't had one of these in years. Go ahead. Medovich. <sighs> Don't worry about it. It's just been a while. Now try. Medovich. I don't know how much longer I can keep pretending to be angry at you. If people find out the real reason, it will all be for nothing. Maybe you shouldn't have brought her here. If the spell breaks, their powers will light this place up like a beacon. Where was I supposed to go once that harpy found us? She would have killed me and taken Misha if she could. This was the only place I could come whether you wanted me back or not. What are you doing here? I want to talk to my mother. Well, too bad, because I need my dad right now. I know it was harder for you in the human world, but you would never let me help. Anything you sent could have been used to track us. I just hope it was all worth it. Seeing Misha after all these years, seeing both our girls safe and strong, that's what makes it worth all the sacrifices. All the years together we lost. You need to stop being everywhere I want to be. Excuse me, but I got here first. It's still not your house. <gasps> what? I have a lot of questions. You've been lying to me my whole life. And she's been lying to you. It's not that simple. 
You told me she ran out on us. You told me she wanted to explore the world more than she wanted to be a mother. But none of that was true. I never stopped loving both of you. You're supposed to hate her. If you still love each other, then why weren't you together? Why were we all together? Because you are dragon marked. <sighs> dragon marked? Is that a thing? In every generation, a few supernaturals are born with the mark of the Dragon King. You don't actually believe this. It is our history. To protect the community, the Dragon Marked live in cloisters warded against magic. It keeps them safe from the curse, and it keeps the rest of us safe from them. Because of a birthmark? That is screwed up! When you two were born, when we saw the marks, we were supposed to turn you over to the Enforcers. They would have taken you away. We'd have never seen you again. They're lying again. No mark. We had help from a powerful sorcerer who put a spell on you both to hide the marks. And to keep your powers suppressed, so you could live as a human. Your mother left behind her home, and everyone she loved. You were never supposed to know. I could have lived my whole life never knowing who I really was, or where I came from. For your safety. If anyone finds out, our whole family could wind up in prison. You can't tell anyone, not your friends, not Fern, not anyone. You just need to act like everything's normal. Act like everything's normal? How are we supposed to do that? Oh, nothing here is normal, so I'm way ahead of you. I can't believe I'm supposed to keep this secret from my besties. I tell Tara everything. I feel like my whole life has been turned upside down. Again, way ahead of you. We learn about the dragon marked our whole lives. Dragon marks upon the skin, cloisters keep them safe within. The Dragon King has cursed them all, when he rises we will fall. Oh, nice propaganda. If I'm cursed, wouldn't I know it? Wouldn't I feel different? Or the whole thing's bull, and your supernatural utopia is just as screwed up as the human world. What's this dragon mark look like, anyway? I've never seen one. Like a dragon, I guess. Hang on a second. <laughs> like this? Whoa. That's me and Brax. That's the kid we saw. And the door? No idea. That kid was running for his life. Kristoff took him through there, and that's all I know. But how did you know about it? I have dreams sometimes. Uh, uh, look here, on his arm. Is that what a dragon mark looks like? So this whole time we've been connected, and we didn't even know it? What else did you see? A couple of dragons, mostly wolves, mostly your wolf. I never saw you. We need to find out what happened to that kid. If we're dragon marked like he is, then he's in our pack. We have to look out for him. We still don't know anything about that kid we saw in the woods. But we do know that the door we saw Kristoff pull out of thin air would take serious magic. I want to know where he was going. And there's one place I can think of to find out. Huh? The Headmaster's study? Do you know how well warded that is? The staircase is sealed after the last curfew bell. The stonework is enchanted to prevent climbing. And there's shielding to prevent fly-ups. How do you know that? Never mind. But there is a way up there. Tithe lines. Of course! Tide lines! Hmm, now let's see... Every inch of campus is linked together by tide lines. Every student here is contributing power into the school's grid. Except Misha. She doesn't have her power yet. Tara can reveal the lines, and a fairy can tap their natural magic to ride the waves. At your service. I'm in! Sorry, Brax. The tide lines are delicate, and you're... You're Brax. Oh. You're on aerial duty. Help Max keep watch. Night vision activated. Misha, you're with Tara. Ready? Wow, that's... 
I've ever been in this room when I wasn't in trouble. Did you feel that surge halfway up? There's more power in the grid than I expected. Can we talk about this later? We have to figure out where Kristoff took that kid. There's only one way to find out where that door goes. We're gonna use these tokens to get into the hub and find that door. And when we find it, we're gonna go through it ourselves. Okay. That was so close. I can't believe we got away with it. Stick with me, sis. This is just the beginning. Yeah, we felt the other missing. 